The West has been providing significant numbers of small arms like machine guns as well as man pads and ATGMs to Ukraine. But Ukraine has been requesting more support from the international community to counter Russian forces. This includes appeals for heavier weapons like long-range air defense systems and armor vehicles. It's come to light that the Czech government has started moving T-72 tanks and BMP-1 infantry fighting vehicles out of storage for transfer to Ukraine. As per Reuters, Czech Defense Minister Jana Cernachova told members of parliament when asked to confirm the transfer of these armored vehicles to Ukraine, I will only assure you that the Czech Republic is helping Ukraine as much as it can and will continue to help by supplying military equipment both light and heavy. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the Czech Republic has stepped up the game with the supply of T-72 and BMP-1 to Ukraine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a premium VPN service available for macOS, iOS, Windows and Android with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries. But why use a VPN or virtual private network? VPN is an encrypted tunnel. A VPN can protect your privacy, which is threatened by many factors like data logging by Internet service providers. It can also help you access contents which are blocked based on geolocation. Why NordVPN? Its servers are fast and has zero log policy. Not only this, NordVPN has taken one step further and recently introduced a new feature, threat protection. Threat protection prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Use the link in the description to get up to 71% off the two-year plan plus threat protection for no extra cost. At the checkout, use the code DEFENSE to get an extra month for free. Multiple social media images and video clips show T-72s and BMP-1s being loaded onto train cars in the Czech Republic. Viewers may note that there were reports circulating in the media that the U.S. government would help facilitate the delivery of T-72 tanks from an unspecified NATO member to the Ukrainian armed forces. Also, the German government had separately approved a request from authorities in the Czech Republic to send East German BMP-1s that they now own to Ukraine. So there's clear evidence that there are at least two distinct transfers of armored vehicles from the Czech Republic to Ukraine in progress now. Ukraine mostly has Soviet or Russian origin weapons. The personnel have been trained in such systems and have familiarity with them. While troops and reserve personnel can be quickly trained to use reasonably uncomplicated weapons like man pads and ATGMs, this is not the case with armor vehicles. Though not as complicated as an aircraft, Learning to operate a new tank and armor vehicle does take a bit of time. In this case, it's best for Ukraine if they can get weapons they already know how to use. The T-72 is a family of Soviet-Russian main battle tanks that entered production in 1969. The T-72 was a development of the T-64, which was troubled by high costs and its reliance on older developmental technology. The T-72A is the second generation of Soviet-made main battle tank MBT, in the T-72 family, and some unconfirmed reports suggest this is the variant being provided to Ukraine. The first version of the T-72 entered production in 1970. T-72 was the most common tank used by the Soviet Army from the 1970s 
to the collapse of the Soviet Union. The main armament of the T-72A consists of one 125mm, two A-46 smoothbore gun fitted with a light alloy thermal sleeve and a bore evacuator. The second armament of the T-72A includes one 7.62mm caliber PKT machine gun mounted coaxially to the right of the main armament. Standard equipment of the T-72A includes night vision, NBC protection systems, and heating. Russia itself has been using it against Ukraine, and a significant percentage of these have also been destroyed using weapons like Javelin and Enlaw. Development of the BMP-1 infantry fighting vehicle commenced in 1960. It entered service with the Soviet Army in 1966. The BMP-1 was first shown publicly in 1967. This infantry fighting vehicle has a crew of three, including a commander, gunner, and driver. Commander is located behind the driver. The vehicle can also carry an infantry squad of eight fully equipped troops. It has two rear entry doors, roof hatches, firing ports, and other measures which made the BMP-1 a true infantry fighting vehicle, which not only carries infantry into battle, but supports dismounts on the battlefield with its weapons. This infantry fighting vehicle has a one-man low-profile turret. The armament is a magazine-fed, low-velocity, 73mm smoothbore gun. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. With images of civilian bodies littering the streets of Bukha, sparking a global outcry, there is renewed push to add more sanctions against Russia and provide more weapons to Ukraine. According to information published by the Aketha Marini website on April 4, 2022, the United States has asked Cyprus government if it would be possible to transfer Russian-made weapons and combat vehicles in services with the Cyprus Armed Forces, including Tor M1 and S-300 air defense missile systems, T-80U main battle tank, BMP-3 tracked armored infantry fighting vehicle, and MI-35 attack helicopter. It's evident that there's a new level of urgency when it comes to providing Ukraine with ways of countering Russian forces. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.